Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to Fountain Valley School, the virtual edition. My name is Curtis Singmaster, and I'm the chair of the Fine Arts Department. We wanted to take a moment and speak directly to you, our students, and share our progress and preparations as we get our virtual classrooms ready for you. That is why we decided to make this video and share what we are doing in each department. Let's start off with the languages in Madame Kimliko. How is your department planning on using technology to connect with your students? Uh, thanks, Curtis. Hello, everyone. Uh, in the languages department, we're looking forward to reconnecting with our students using tools that we're already familiar with and exploring new ones as well. Uh, language teachers and students in language classes are already very comfortable using online tools such as Google Classroom, Seesaw, Padlet, or Flipgrid. So we're confident that we can transition smoothly to virtual learning using the same technology. Uh, we also see this change as an opportunity to practice curiosity and enhance the learning experience. So while we wanna to continue to teach listening, speaking, reading and writing skills daily with our students using existing tools, uh, we're also excited about exploring new ways to develop engaging and meaningful activities that keep our students excited about communicating in the language they're learning at Fountain Valley. Thank you. Next, let's hear from Mr. Reynolds. What approaches are you taking to bring your department's English classes into the virtual classroom? Thanks, Curtis. Uh, in my 28 years of teaching, I've never uh, gone online like this, and I confess that I think everyone is a little bit nervous, scared, and excited. Uh, I think classes will be different. I think they'll be a little bit more creative and outside the box. And yet also certainly some similarities, talking about great books and poetry. I know I will probably begin each class with a poem from a student of, in honor of National Poetry Month. Uh, whatever it is, it's a brave new world and we're excited to embrace it. Thank you. And now Mr. Rubenstein, what will a virtual science class look like? Hi everybody. Learning is always a joint adventure and moving to an online format will be the same. Your science faculty are excited about reconnecting with all of you in a new way and we are embracing the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. These changes have driven us to look carefully at what we teach, how we teach, and to be creative about presenting topics. Our goal is to maintain an engaging virtual classroom by mixing discussion, collaboration, video clips, hands-on hands -on exercises, and even virtual lab experiences um, with text and brief lectures. Let's embrace the opportunity to be creative and purposeful in how we engage and participate in the learning experience. Thank you. Ms. Pelton, what new challenges is your department taking on as we move to a virtual classroom? Hi, everyone. We are looking forward to connecting with all of you and working creatively with you to help you continue to grow in your mathematical knowledge and ability this spring. We are intrigued by the challenge of teaching math, a language full of symbols, graphs, and visual diagrams using alternatives to the whiteboard and pencil and paper. And we are hoping to be able to continue with some of these methods into next fall as well, as they'll enrich our classes. We look forward to seeing all of you. Thank you. Mr. Payne, how will the history department embrace experimentation? Hi, everyone. Well, even though this is a challenging time, we have a lot going for us. Uh, first of all, all of our history teachers have been able to connect with book publishers to gain online access, so the content will be there. And where the real learning takes place is when you do something with your learning, when you evaluate it, when you take risks, um, when you get evaluation from other people on, on your comments. And we have the tools available to do, to do that. Um, most of our students, if not all, have, have extensively used elements of the Google Education Suite, particularly Google Classroom, also using things as simple as Google Forms, taking online quizzes and things of that nature. This will give us the opportunity to further explore those tools to share our findings, analyze, and to give each other productive and organized feedback. Thank you. On behalf of the fine arts faculty, I want you to know that we are excited about exploring and creating new ways to engage our creativity through a virtual platform. Limitations breed creativity. Our current situation is going to create some exciting opportunities 
for us to shift our focus and concentrate on different areas of our creative processes. The Fine Arts Department looks forward to working together as we navigate this new virtual platform through a creative lens. In this time of uncertainty, remember, we are here for you as your teachers, your advisors, and your coaches. Take the time to be creative, reach out to a friend, or find a way to make someone's day. Learning is an adventure, and we are getting ready to chart a new course. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye, everybody. Ciao. <laughs>